What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Mushoku Tensei. Super excited. I know I'm late, but I'm very excited that this is back. Today we're doing season two, part two, which is gonna be episodes 13 and 14. I know it's gonna, I'm gonna get lost along the way. But uh, like I said, come check out the Patreon if you guys want the early access or the full length versions of all the other shows and the movies we're watching here. Come to the Twitch if you guys want to watch this live with me. It's always a vibe. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. And if you don't mind, checking out my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. I'm not going to waste any more time. Ushoku Tensei, Season 2, Part 2, Episodes 13 and 14. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Starting off with what seems to be a lovely morning. <laughs> Grandmaster. <laughs> to all the people on YouTube watching this right now, I was saying at the Twitch chat that I, it's been a while since I've seen this. So if I forget any names, if I forget any storylines, be patient with me a little bit. I appreciate you guys insanely. All right. We're a committed man, Rudy. <laughs> no more of that. I'm a sinful temptress. I finally feel human again. Just a level of confidence about him, you know? And he'll end up pregnant. That's what I'm saying. We're a committed man now. No more no more games, you know? I was about to say, that's the last thing on her mind at all. I know. I would be in the same way. That is a good answer. When you truly like someone, just the time spent with them is usually more than enough. Good. I cannot wait to see Mama Dukes again, man. Like, what has she been doing? Like, Rudy has so many character flaws, but he is such a grateful person when someone helps him out, you know? That's a good question, though. You wouldn't even have the first clue, to be honest, me either, especially in a time like this. Do you? I was about to say that. I didn't know that. Okay. Do we have a, we have to have a place to stay. <laughs> They're all like this came out of nowhere. We never even heard of this before. Little do you guys know it's a long story. I can't have a rundown, you know, shack for the princess coming to visit, you know? Right? House shopping in this world is harder in this world, I must say. Yes. It is rather large. Now, normally... <laughs> what? Yeah, like... In this kind of world, that could be an actual curse, you know? This is like a perfect kind of episode to get me right back into the Mushoku vibes, you know? Hey man, he can't control his strength, man. But this is going to be our future health. It is going to need some... A little bit of a makeover, but hey. With magic, we can do anything. Cliff's nowhere near Rudy, but Cliff is very excellent when it comes to just mages in general, so he could absolutely be a help. And Zenoba, come on. Ghostbusters, the Asekai version. I would, I could fuck with a Ghostbusters, like, Mob Psycho sort of paranormal show. I miss Mob Psycho, man. That makes me think of that. That's when the... That's when the uh, paranormal stuff really happens. Yeah, the voices, the murders. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good off that. Yeah, we did kind of leave Julie. You do not need to worry about her. W Zenoba, man. Of course you guys are invited. Come on. We're going to have a big gathering, a feast. Lovely time, you know? Got to throw a little bachelor party, too. 
Whatever seems to be causing the activity here seems to be much more of a actual living sentient creature than a ghost because it doesn't need to go through walls and stuff. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't like the sound of that. I'm assuming they're working in shifts just to watch the night. As soon as I hear that from Cliff, I'm waking him up. Good man. W mans. I love the magic eye. I love how you can see it is small, it very tinily get animated when he activates it. I can't wait until Rudy's like, I don't want to say full grown, but fully matured as a mage. We can see full power Rudy. This is the room the thing came out of. It was like a hidden door in here, right? Yeah, right there. You can see the, the track marks. You can tell these guys have never played Baldur's Gate. I would, I would have noticed that secret door immediately. My perception checks, come on. Yeah, see, that looks like a curse that would pop up in like JJK or something. What is that? Hello? Oh, hell no. Nope. I'm out of there. This house, not ours anymore. What? what are we playing? Fucking Lethal Company? Get the hell out of here. Okay, it's a. Oh, I love the future shot. I love anytime we go into his first person. Shout out. Zenoba? W mans. Any updates? What is it? We do know Zen Zenoba is super into crafting and dolls, you know? It tried to kill us, so... Hmm. Don't just transition that into mecha maids, you fucking weirdo, Rudy. <laughs> I was more worried it being a moving doll that somebody was controlling it. Maybe it is more automated, you know? A new whole level of exploration when it comes to animated dolls and moving. I'm like Cliff. Like, buddy, you're about to get married. If Zanoba wanted to, he could literally crush anyone's head in like that, you know? Right. Let's get to the bottom of this doll. See, it seems like a person would be here, you know? Like, is there some... Curious. This could be something that we add to our arsenal of magic, you know? Theoretically, we should be able to buy this house at a pretty good price, and then now we know more magic about dolls, you know? Yeah, huge, huge thank you to you guys for helping out. Besides helping with Julie's teaching, I do think you need a certain thing to do, Zenoba. So I would like to let you lead the charge on this. And I respect him trying to develop himself, you know? Yeah. Some people need a feeling of importance, you know, doing something. I completely understand that. I I say give it to him. Let Zenoba do it, man. Especially from how much he's helped us so far, you know? Especially back in that city with Roxy and all that, you know? W Zenoba. I just, I can't get over how weird this is. Oh, yeah. Like, I still remember meeting Sophie and helping her with the bullies. Now we're going to marry her? It's crazy to think about. One day we're all going to get married and have mansions like that, you know? Close to your old hair color. I like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Shout out, Rudy. After how much individually they both went through during the transportation and turning point one, you know, like it'd be so such a nice feeling to just think about like you're settling, you're having a, a future, you're, you know, like it's just a great feeling overall. So. 
こんなに大きなベッドをそりゃもちろんシルフィーを美味しく食べるためさ I'm not gonna say it <laughs> You know that man Rudy's not afraid to <laughs> I wasn't really talking about that more of the wedding details but <laughs> see I it's so complicated but I've always been a Sophie Rudy shipper you know I'm never really was super into Eris Rudy but I do hope nothing bad happens and they do live a very long happy life together knowing the show that is the exact opposite of what's going to happen but that's needed in every relationship. Start talking. Speak your mind, peoples. You're saying that, like, physically, like, don't go teleporting into a random spot, but don't leave me, you know? Come on. Ooh! Okay! Talk about a start to part two. We got some love in the air, my dream home, happiness. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. Next time, wedding reception. We're getting right into it. All right, this is the next episode, episode 14. Lena Lise, Zenoba, Julie, Cliff, Linia, Persena, Body, Genius. Oh, so I saw that would come. That'd be dope. Ariel, Luke, her two attendants. Yeah, I'm sure Paul would love to see his son get married, though. Oh, you think Nanaho should want to come? I don't think so. She's a little busy. Uh, I was about to say, knowing Alina Lee's, it would have to be a sexual question. First up, shopping. One thing about Mushoku was they be changing fits, you know, they be looking drippy, so I'm down to get Rudy a new fit. No, thank you. No, thank you. I do like the look of that jacket, like design, just not the actual coloring. No. Kazra is highly resistant to poison and acid. Definitely better than the other two. Well known name. Ah, ah, shout out, Luke. W mans, W mans. Way to wind down from a day of shopping in the hot tub. Come on. This man's thinking like a real husband now. <laughs> this show i tell you goddamn rudy i can't even blame him i really can't damn hey Anaho, she's here too he's just gonna pull up ah 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 Good point. That doesn't surprise me at all. That's like free run. <laughs> That's funny. Got a cheers to the lovely bride. Lovely couple. Exactly how I thought Bodyguardi would pop up. Cue my big entrance. I knew he'd be like this. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Normally he would show up on time, but he showed up late just for you, Rudy. Not wrong at all. Not wrong at all. Sometimes you need a demon king, you know? Give you a little inspiration. Short, sweet, and simple. A toast to the young couple's future. Kanpai! They're so funny. I would be killing those potato chips. I'm like, these, these Lay's classic? What are these? Sea salt? Imagine how much things have changed for Sophie. 
to his fall into the ground, saved Luke and Ari, you know, like, so crazy. Very mature of you, Luke. I've always liked Luke since the beginning. I met him this season. <laughs> Very formal of you, Julie. What's Nana Hoshi gonna say? Short and sweet. Sophie did say she had a question for you. I wonder if she's just emotional because it's a happy time. Is she thinking about a, her past? Or I wonder what she's thinking about. Wow. <laughs> so that was the question she was going to ask? I would have never expected that. You could tell Lena Lee feels bad for the things she's put on her family, you know? That is very true. I did notice that when Alina Lee showed us hers. I'm a little curious as to why. Yeah, what about a training sword? Maybe if you guys told me why, but hey, I guess. Okay, we're going right at it. Now, we weren't the best swordsmen, but we were trained by a great, two great swordsmen, so. I'm hoping some Ghislaine and... Ooh. Ooh. I was not expecting Rudy to end it that cleanly. I thought of Luke as the superior swordsman. I like how he instantly disarmed him by hitting his hand like that. That was insane. Was that purely a test just to see if we were strong enough to handle the protection of their friend? That's what I assumed. Understandable. So she was just making sure the one he, she leaves her with is worthy, you know? I think that's a good response from Ariel. Like, this is gonna end in a bloody battle anyway, you know? So, yeah. Better to keep her out of it. So theoretically, while they continue their endeavors to get the throne, we should just be settling down with our children and not being involved. But something tells me the show is not going to go as clean as that. Damn. That is kind of crazy. At first sight, or even great granddaughter. Wow. Makes a lot more sense why she just broke down right there. Especially with the life she's lived. Shout out, Cliff. Very, very understanding. That's a W Cliff answer right there. I think that kind of motivated and inspired Rudy a little bit. He's like, okay. Right? Someone with that level of resolve, I gotta help out. Cliff's grown on me since I saw him in the OVA. I really didn't like him during that episode. It's just so interesting how we're gonna go from such... In my opinion, this is the happiest we've ever been in Mushoku, and it's going to be so dark soon, I can already tell. That was a great episode, man. I feel happy. I'm glad I watched that one first. All right. Um, right. We're back. Mushoku it doesn't feel like we've left at all. It literally feels like Mushoku always feels like Mushoku, especially from the ending I just watched, how it shows us the flashbacks of the beginning till now. You know, like, I think, and I said this during the reaction, this is the happiest internally and the characters have felt in mushoku like 
such good energy, such good relationships we've developed, such such good moments potentially in the future. You know, they're talking about, I'm gonna work hard so you don't stop loving me. I'm gonna always love you. We're gonna have kids, this, that, and the third. But something tells me <laughs> with this show, it is not going to go down like that, not even close. But just the way it's gonna differ is gonna be the thing that surprises me. Are we gonna have a turning point part three? Are we gonna have another mass teleportation? What's gonna happen with Laplace? Are we ever gonna see Rui Jerd? What's gonna happen with Eris and Ghislaine? Like there's so many unresolved story threads and plot lines out there that I know the shit's gonna go crazy when it does. But for right now, while I can, I'm gonna cherish the happiness and the love that's floating in the air. Because when it gets sucked away from you, you're gonna wish it was there. So I'll cherish it. Um, like I said, W episodes. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions as well as early access to all the shows and movies we're watching. Check out the Twitch if you guys always want to watch this live with me. It's such a vibe. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.